Welcome back, True Believers Elite Legend. Back at you guys with another Marvel Legends action figure news burst. That's right, it's been a while since the Elite Legend has been with you guys. I have been once again imprisoned in a Turkish prison camp. I just busted out in time to see that the world has gone mad. That's right, everything that we used to hold near and dear has changed, and we have come to the point where Nazis are now practicing inclusion or inclusivity, whatever you want to call it. We're talking about the inclusivity. That's when you not discriminating, you go out there and you're going to be penetrating all different types of ethnicities, races, all different shapes. You put in a square peg in a round hole, baby, if you will. Dusty! We're not talking about that type of inclusivity. We're talking about the brand new Marvel Legends Cash Grab Hasbro Pulse 2-Pack. It's an army builder. These figures, were they were so excited about them, they didn't even mention them during San Diego Comic-Con. They were just sitting there on the table while all the shills were having breakfast and kissing up to the big three. They were just sitting there all casually. Nobody cared about them because nobody cares about female troop builders except the individuals that are out there trying to get trying to get that street cred, baby. They're trying to get that those props. They want to get those clicks and those likes on the social media, baby. They want to just have somebody that they can sit down with and say, look at baby, I got this army of female troopers. I believe in inclusivity. And not talking about the square peg in the round hole. See, the American dream doesn't have to be told more than once. And All right, Dusty, that's enough. We're talking about the female troop builders. They were featured on the very last day of San Diego Comic-Con. We got a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent. We have a HYDRA agent. And this is the very first time we were able to see the heads that come with the figures. Look, man, were you talking to Dusty Ramona? Cut his mic. We are getting these two packs. They are Hasbro Pulse exclusives. I'm pretty sure that the price point is going to be about $60. But I want to talk about the reason why the Elite Legend had a burst out of that Turkish prison camp and make a video for all of you. It is because we now have the ability in our collections to finally make black Nazis. We got a couple different African-American skin tones. We have... The traditional blonde hair, blue eyed, white Nazi, but nobody wants that. We want an army of black Nazis in our Marvel Legends collections, and thanks to the big three over at Hasbro, we have them now. The Elite Legend almost didn't even find out about these because unfortunately I have been blocked by Gangster Dan over on Twitter. But Gangster Dan, the Elite Legend, has something for you very, very soon. Don't worry about it. You would think that an American soldier wouldn't be practicing um, techniques of banning individuals and trying to hide information from the public. You would think you wouldn't take to the con to the communistic. Is that even a word? You wouldn't think that you would practice the communist techniques and practices of blocking individuals and censoring individuals. But hey, here we are. You kiss up to the shills, and you kind of leave other individuals out in the cold, including good old Shardimus Prime. But that's another story for another day. The Elite Legend has yet to share my thoughts on San Diego Comic-Con, but you heard it here. We are finally getting Hydra Nazis with female-inspired hairstyles, whatever the fuck that is. Probably going to be 60 bucks. but hey, according to Dan Who and the other shills, these accessories are free! Everything's wonderful when it's free. Until next time, if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you can be alerted to all of Elite Legends' next videos. I'm going to start dropping content regularly so you don't want to miss that. Check out my Marvel Legends playlist. G.I. Joe Classifies playlist. I am even going to dive back into the world of G.I. Joe. Emily, I'm sorry. I'm back. And I reload it! Thrift Halls, the Elite Legend found a... McFarlane Spider-Man at a thrift store, so check that out. I know you guys have been doing a lot of that lately. And check out the Elite Toy Collectors on Facebook. If you are not a snowflake, if you are not a shill, you have a home on Facebook, Elite Toy Collectors. Scan that QR code to follow Elite Legend on Instagram. And until next time, make mine marvel.